The Dallas cop who killed both of them, Jean, has been charged with manslaughter, yet the lawyers for the family say she should be charged with murder. Uh, Dallas DA Faith Johnson, an African-American, she has said that she is open to that idea. The attorneys questioned exactly what happened that night. Of course, Amber Geiger has given numerous stories about what took place. We know she went to the wrong apartment. She says initially she tried to unlock the door, had an issue. Then later she said in an affidavit that the door was open, and then she simply walked in. They say clearly something else took place here based upon the witnesses who reported hearing her say, let me in, and knocking loudly on the door. Joining us right now uh, are two of the family's attorneys, Benjamin Crump, and Lee Merritt. Gentlemen, welcome back to Roller Martin Unfiltered. Hi, Roman. Uh, Lee, I want to start with you. Uh, the DA says she is open to charging him with murder, uh, but explain to the audience though, the difference between manslaughter and murder because that dictates exactly uh, what kind of charge can be made. Well, manslaughter indicates that there was some sort of reckless behavior that resulted in the death of a human being. A murderer is saying that what, what happened was intentional. And nothing that Amber Geiger has described, even in her own version or many of her versions of events, described an, uh, an unintentional act. Uh, in, each of her, in each of her stories, although they're changing, she has said that she took aim at a person or someone she believed to be a person and, and fired at them. Body center masses officers are trained to do, uh, killing them. And so... Uh, I don't think this case has been handled right from the beginning. It was, it was, it should have been considered a murder uh, without uh, any description of how Gallagher's intent was reckless or unintentional. Ben Crump, I want to go to you because obviously uh, a DA has to pursue certain charges by going to the grand jury. Uh, and we always hear the phrase, a DA can indict a ham sandwich. Uh, but you obviously want to charge folks properly because look what happened to Dante uh, serving in Chicago, where the, where the judge said he was charged uh, in a wrong way, let him free, and Rakia Boyd's murderer has never been brought to trial. And so uh, in calling for him to be charged with murder, what is, the, what is your legal rationale as to why that that should be the charge or the indictment as opposed to manslaughter? Well, you know, multiple fronts. And I agree with Attorney Merritt. There are things that can be done to charge her with murder if that is the desire, Roland. When you think about her unbelievable story, if this is anybody else who allegedly goes to the wrong apartment, kill an innocent person who is lawfully in their apartment, minding their own business, you or I will be charged with murder. It would be no question about it. So this DA has the, the has the right to treat her like any other citizen. They can't have it both ways. Either she is not on duty as she purported to be, and the city is trying to allege, or they are giving her preferential treatment because she's a police officer. Either way, when you look at this story and the way the story has evolved and continues to change, once we find that she is lying, then that is malice of forethought and she should be charged with murder. Because not only do you have the homicide of an innocent young man, but now you have her lying about it. And that equals murder. Now, again, she's given two different statements already. She's given one statement to the police in the initial report, and then an affidavit was filed. Uh, and so uh, if uh, it is discovered that she is lying, couldn't that, could that charge also be added? Because if, you, if one of us lied to a cop in an official report, they could actually charge us for lying. Absolutely. And that's why it's so very important that we document everything she says. I know Attorney Merritt, Attorney Washington and I, we've not only been out to the scene, we've not only talked to witnesses, but we've also looked at the different uh, probable cause affidavits between the police, uh, Dallas Police Department and the Texas Rangers. And now we'll see what the next story is, Roland. Lee? Yeah, it's, it's it, it, anytime you have somebody changing their story, uh, they, they 
in an official capacity. All those statements they give are sworn statements. So they hold themselves out to perjury charges. But more importantly, it, it allows for this false narrative. And uh, this is something that the, the legal team has been talking about recently. We've been hearing a lot about the idea that, you know, we don't want to ruin two lives. And so we should take it easy on this woman uh, because it because it was an accident. And that was her intent in telling these false stories in the, in the beginning to hide how culpable uh, the, the malice behind behind her actions. Uh, and, that, and that's absurd. And our legal system for all other people, uh, non-law enforcement, and when the victim isn't a black person, uh, we don't we don't say, uh, well, we don't want to ruin the murderer's lives. We, we focus on pun properly punishing the criminal. Obviously, uh, Obviously. Uh, this is a situation where you have a black police chief in Dallas, uh, a black woman there. You have a black female district attorney there in Dallas as well. Uh, and so, uh, and of course, we have an election that's also coming up. And so Faith Johnson is paying attention to that as well. What has been the, la what has been the last conversation with her and any idea uh, when she plans to take this to the grand jury for them to consider an actual indictment? Because thus far, Amber Geiger has been charged. She was out uh, on bail in less than an hour. Well, I want to believe that Faith Johnson will do the right thing. I know Lee Merritt and uh, Daryl Washington with Jordan Edwards was uh, very ha happy that she did the right thing in getting that conviction. And I believe this is just as conclusive as that, that she should be convicted of a crime. But I want to step back for just a second, Roland Martin. It is preposterous when you think about the fact that she broke and entered Botham Jones' apartment, and now she's somewhat suggesting a self-defense claim. Now, how asinine is that? You break in my house and then you shoot and kill me, and now you're kind of suggesting it was a big, dark, shadowy figure, and so it's self-defense. Black people get killed by police officers in some of the most arbitrary ways, and I've said it before, driving while black, while black people in their cars, walking while black, while black people are in their neighborhoods, and now both in John's case, living while black, while he's in his apartment. And so for them to suggest that she was in fear of her life, and it's just preposterous that if they're going to use that as a defense. Final comment with you. There's a case out of Maryland uh, where uh, a, a man, a police thought they were busting through the home of a drug dealer, uh, and it was at the house of an innocent man. That man did fire at police, and he was not charged. Right, we see a lot of the similarities in that case um, um, where you have a mistake of fact. And that's really what it comes down to. If, if Ms. Geiger could articulate that there was a mistake of fact uh, that would justify her, her the use of force, um, then, then she has the ability to get off um, for, for her crime. Uh, the reason I don't think that applies here, uh, similar to the man in, in Maryland, uh, is because even if what was going on in her mind was reality, she still committed murder. Uh, and we saw that with the the, 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 grant, the jury's decision in the case of Roy Oliver. Roy Oliver decided to use force in a uh, as a police officer again, in a situation that was not justified, where he could not articulate any danger to himself. Uh, Amber Geiger saying, I see a, a, a black silhouette, which really is cold work for a, bl a large black man standing in front of me. And, and, and the decision to use to use force in that situation, uh, it's not a mistake of fact that would justify the use of deadly force. And so she should still be properly charged with murder. All right, gentlemen, Lee Merritt, as well as Ben Crump, we certainly appreciate it. And we'll certainly uh, keep our eyes on this case. We've been focusing on it every single day and will not let up. Thanks a lot.